Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 12th of January. I'm James Spann getting set for a shot of cold air. A pretty quick shot, but uh, the big talk will be the chance of snowflakes around here this evening. Wow, what a change. Let's uh, get in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning off the uh, Alpha Skycam network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's uh, Birmingham looking south from the Daniel Building back over toward Red Mountain. Looks like the ceiling's down to about uh, 2,000 feet over the city with those low clouds. We'll work our way south, go down to Shelby County. That's the Skycam on the campus of the University of Montevallo. And on the campus of Auburn University down in Lee County, the sky's mostly cloudy there. Hey, look at that trough forming. And this one's got some pretty cold air involved. Uh, but our temperatures have not changed much. I mean, th these numbers have not moved over the past 24 hours. And look at all the 48s. Auburn, Anniston, Shelby County Airport, Birmingham, Coleman, Decatur, Huntsville, Fort Payne, and Muscle Shoals, all at 48. Pretty homogenous. You don't see that consistency around here that often. But around the nation, yeah, buddy, here comes that cold air. Single-digit readings this morning from Denver up into the Canadian border region, and that'll uh, probably mean falling temperatures this afternoon. Uh, we'll kind of hang out in the upper 40s this morning, and we'll see those numbers starting to come down after the lunch hour. Watch warning map. Look at all the uh, winter weather issues to the north. And uh, we note that even uh, far north Georgia has a winter weather advisory in effect. And uh, the Weather Service in Huntsville was thinking about one for uh, – uh, Jackson and DeKalb counties of northeast Alabama, but if we see it dusting, more than likely it's going to be on just on high terrain up there. There's the chance of getting snow accumulation. This is the chance of one inch or more for the next 24 hours, and you can see it uh, just kind of barely nudges the Alabama-Tennessee border up there to the north. And precipitation for the next five days, uh, valid through Monday evening at uh, 6 o'clock, and not much. That's just uh, light rain or snow that we'll see uh, today and tonight. Let's take a look at modeling. This is the 06 CGFS at noon today. This is at about 18,000 feet off the ground or where the pressure is at 500 millibars. Cold looking trough digging in here and you can see the cold air coming in at midday. And again, I think we'll sit in the upper 40s all morning and probably start to fall down toward 40 or maybe the upper 30s this afternoon. Here's a look at the RPM. This is valid uh, this evening at uh, 6 o'clock in all the blue. That's uh, light snow or snow flurries. And you can see how they extend really a little below Birmingham on this run. And we'll check the uh, HRRR. This is the new uh, ruck. And, you know, this model only runs out to uh, 15 hours. And this is the last frame as I grab the uh, run this morning, and this is valid this afternoon at 5 o'clock, and this is the snow accumulation. And look at that. It's got a dusting into uh, northwest Alabama. And again, because of the ground warm and the ground is warm and it's above freezing, I don't think we see accumulation there. But there's no doubt we're going to see snowflakes over a pretty good chunk of north Alabama later this afternoon and this evening. So for the snow fans, you can maybe see a few flakes flying around. All right, tomorrow uh, the sun comes back. That's exciting. But cold. Highs uh, 40 to 45. And we'll start the morning well down in the 20s. The uh, GFS starts the day at 22. Saturday, uh, again, the morning will be cold. Uh, probably lows 20 to 25, maybe some teens for the colder valleys. But the thickness values are coming up, so we start to warm up with low 50s. And Sunday, the warming trend continues with uh, uh, mid-50s likely. And we'll take that. And the good news, we'll have three sunny days in a row, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Next week. On Monday, this run a little faster with moisture coming back. This is suggesting we might need to mention a chance of a shower by uh, Monday evening. But clearly, Tuesday of next week will offer the next decent chance of showers. Uh, this run a little more aggressive with rain, uh, kind of bumping up the rain amounts to over uh, one half inch. And Wednesday, a eh, pretty decent little trough over the east. We turn somewhat colder. Highs maybe dropping back into the upper 40s. But you know the deal, nothing excessively cold. And a week from today, looks just uh, cool and dry and benign. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 27th of January. No cold air with that look. Uh, the northern branch has got the cold air trapped way up north. Look at that big trough in the southern branch. That looks kind of wet and stormy, if that's right. 
All right, that's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.